It is time to review the year that was 2023. Welcome to the Gaming Off The Grid year in review. We have done one of these every year throughout the years, but we've got a lot of new viewers that are probably like, what the hell are these two yahoos getting ready to talk about? Yeah, we're gonna recap the year that was 2023, and guess what? We're in the new game room. Let's so, <laughs> go. We got a lot of stuff to talk about. 2023 was a wild year, but we're gonna start off kind of on a low note in categories we got categories yeah the first category is gaming disappointment what was your biggest gaming disappointment from 2023 before i give my answer i do want to preface all this stuff that we're getting ready to talk about with we don't play a ton of modern games yes. so take what we say with a grain of salt none of these answers are absolutes they're just our opinions and they are opinions from a point of view from a person who hasn't played everything that came out so Keep that in mind um, as we go through this. But my biggest gaming disappointment <clears throat> was uh, Alan Wake 2 coming out being digital. Oh, online. that was, yeah. Because I did like the first game. A big portion of the traction we had in 2023 was uh, about digital content versus physical content, which is a very uh, big deal to us. Yeah. Uh, maybe not to everybody, but it is to us. And it was apparently a big deal to other people. And that game, because I liked the first game so much, and I love survival horror as a genre coming out digital only. I was like, as much as I want to play it, I just can't support that. Yeah, that, that sucks because I wanted to support it, but I'm kind of boycotting it because it's digital only. Yeah. That's a great pick for disappointment. Um, I kind of have, I wouldn't say they're disappointments, but I went in with an open mind and they let me down. Okay. I didn't play a lot of new things that gave me that, that I was like, oh, this sucks. Yeah. But I have two. So the first one is uh, Super Chariot. On the Nintendo Switch. Okay. We tried playing it. It's like this co-op puzzle game. Maybe I just need to give it another chance. So was that game new in 2023 or just new to you? In I don't know if it was new. I can't remember when it came out. But we out. played it a few yeah. months ago. It Maybe it didn't come out in 2023. But I remember we tried playing it and we were just like, we don't get it. Yeah. Um, so it, was, it wasn't it was a disappointment. It was kind of a letdown. Yeah. And then the other one, this might piss some people off. Sonic Superstars. <laughs> oh. Um, we, we started playing Sonic Superstars after we finished Mario Wonder. Yeah. And I went in to Sonic Superstars with an open mind, and I was like, okay, I'm going to give this a chance. I was happy about playing it. I was like, I would love to be this, make make this the first Sonic game I beat. Yep. Ah, I just couldn't do it. I just couldn't. I went in with an open mind, and I couldn't do it, guys. I just, I don't get the appeal of Sonic. <laughs> and that... I, it didn't disappoint me, but it did kind of let me down, so... I was disappointed not in that game. I was disappointed that I couldn't get you on board with Sonic, at least a yeah. little bit. Because I really tried, I really tried. I get your frustrations with Sonic, and he's nowhere near Mario's League, but I thought that game was pretty good. Oh, did you? Maybe I need to play it. Maybe because I played it on the heels of Mario Wonder. Yeah. And that game plays perfectly. But, <laughs> hey, if I can't get you to, you know, like Sonic... I, I don't love Sonic. But I don't hate Sonic. Yeah, I mean, so it was kind of, it was just kind of a uh, yeah, letdown. Yeah. Uh, now let's move in to biggest gaming surprise. My surprise is a game that came out 20 years ago. Okay. Ish. My biggest gaming surprise <clears throat> is kind of a weird one because Mine's weird too. I, have to, I have to qualify it here. But I'm going to go with Mario Wonder. That's the answer. Whoa, okay. A new game. Yeah, a new game came out in 2023. Obviously, everybody knows that. I'm not surprised that it was good. So here's me qualifying why it's yeah. my answer. I'm not I'm not surprised. I knew it was going to be great. There were people like early on like, oh, this game, I'm, I'm concerned. It's like, guys, it's a Mario game. It's going to it's gonna be fine. That is where it surprised me. I thought it was going to be fine. I thought I would like it on the level of uh, New Super Mario Bros. Wii or New Super Mario Bros. that was on the DS or New Super Mario Bros. U. Which those are those are fine. All yeah. great Mario games, but when I played through all those, I loved them, or I liked them. I didn't love them. Yep. They didn't. They didn't uh, make me reconsider my ranking of Mario games. Ooh, Wonder did. And that's where Mario Wonder surprised me. Okay. Um, I I literally felt. I was seeing things I'd never seen done in the Mario game, like how can they continue to reinvent the yeah. wheel? The art design, some of the the uh, levels when you're just tripping balls, once you get the, you know, for the Wonder Seed the levels. You're just like, what is happening? And then, and so that all had the hook in me. And where the game really, really got me was the last couple levels, if you go to 100% it, that are hard as yes. hell. Not for if you're a hardcore, but way harder than the rest most of the game. Mario yeah. stuff in the rest of the game. And it was like, that was an ode to like the old school. Yeah. gamers and so surprised that the game was good and and up to mario standards absolutely not surprised that it is knocking on the door being in my like top five mario games of all time 
and wow. is probably in my top five, that is the surprise. Wow, me. that's that's a big surprise. I, I loved it. That's I do like how it was a great game for kids and families, you know, because it's easy enough in some parts. Yeah. But then they, there's there's some parts that are hard enough for true gamers. That, that, that so they the, did a, so they did a perfect job of everybody. It was the it's beauty, a game for everybody. beauty of it. Um, it was the, the game was just executed flawlessly in my opinion. Uh, my biggest gaming surprise is, and I played this game, you know, growing up, I played it in the arcade. But we started playing this three player on live stream, and I didn't expect to love it as much as I do. And that's Gaunt Gauntlet Dark Legacy. Yeah, dude, this game, like, I was like, oh, this would be a fun co op game to stream. Dude, we're like getting close to beating it, and now I'm like, I'm a hook. Yeah, like the, yeah. the Gauntlet games are so fun, but it, it kind of like blew me away. I was like, wow, okay, I didn't, I didn't expect to enjoy it that much. Yeah, like it was. Uh, so we need to get back on that. We need to finish that Absolutely. off. We're, we're, we put hours into it. It's so fun. Yeah, dude. it's intense. <laughs> it, it is a, a great game. Um, I think you would really enjoy the uh, the uh, no, it's not the original Gauntlet, the N sixty four version. Oh Gauntlet yeah, Legends. I've dabbled with a lot of them, but I've yeah. never. I don't think I've beaten any Gauntlet yeah. games. So. I'm excited for that, and man, they're just fun co-op games. Yeah, for sure. Uh, moving on to your favorite gaming discovery. So this, Ooh, okay. you know, and uh, this isn't all things 2023, but things that happened for us in 2023. Yes. So a discovery you had that you had no idea about. So this one, I, I wonder what your pick is, because it might be the same. Uh, my best gaming discovery of 2023 is an arcade game for the Xbox 360 called Burnout Crash. <laughs> Dude, yeah. Burnout Crash, is we 100%ed it. Yep. But I love the Burnout series and I had never heard of this game. And it's a top-down weird, at first you're like, what is this? Yeah, yeah. It's very kitty and like and ridiculous. And I think it had a mobile release too. Oh, so, it so it's capable of being a mobile game, yeah, I know that, yeah. But it, it was fun as hell. Yes, it was. So that yes, is, it that was. was my big best gaming discovery. Yeah, I mean, anybody that's watching this and we do like our uh, uh, Xbox 360 shutting down games you need to grab. That that's be, one of yeah. them, dude. <clears throat> um, mine would be a game that we were sitting on for a while. And I don't know why, uh, but we had it physically. We do have it physically. Uh, Hunt Down. Hunt Down, yeah. That's uh, it. <laughs> again, a run and gun game being through all the run and gun games and all the games I've been through to just grab me. When did that me. game come out? I want to say like 19, Oh damn, okay. so, so it's been out for a few okay, years. So, I could be okay, wrong, maybe. Okay. But we played it for the first time this year. I know I had it physically for more than a year. Dude, Hunt Down's incredible. Mm -hmm. I thought it came out this year because I played it this year. No, no. So that was an argument for my game of the year. Yeah, we had <laughs> but, that in our Switch games, like in our backlog. There, yeah. God, and that's now one of my favorite games. Yeah. Hunt Down's yeah, that's a great It's pick. It's that type of game that I think we're both chomping at the bit to go play it again with the different characters. Yes. Yeah. Dude, as soon as we finished it, I was like, I want to play this again. Yeah. It's a great co-op game. And yeah. it's dumb. And it got us through our 24-hour live stream. Yeah, yeah. dude, it's, it gets you freaking hyped, dude. Yeah, for sure. Um, next category <clears throat> is our best co-op beat. If you've been around, I think we, we have to have the same answer. Yeah. It's a, it's a no-death run of a game called Jackal. You ever yeah. heard of it? Uh, on the <laughs> yeah. NES? Uh, it's gotta be. Uh, I don't want to say it's a hidden gem, but it's an underappreciated game, yeah, I feel like. Dude. I think it's one of the best games on the console. It is fantastic. Last year, our best co-op beat was in our NDR of Alien Wars. Um, this Jackal NDR 2023. Was it? it was Contra Hardcore. Contra, Contra Hardcore, yeah, that's what I meant, yeah. Contra Hardcore. Uh, but Jackal, freaking phenomenal. We did that back in February. Yeah. Isn't that wild? That's it is. insane. It is, but man, it was... I felt like we were super, super dialed till the very, very last stage and final boss. And when you're working on that, and the way we do NDRs is we play the original stuff, so we weren't save stating to that point. Yes, yeah, so you had to get there. So you got to get there. And then figuring it out, it was, man, it was fun though. Yeah. And that's a great fucking game. Yeah, dude, it's fantastic. It's It, it didn't take us as long, <laughs> you know, to, to do the NDR than it did on mm -hmm. uh, Hardcore, but it's, it's, I'm glad we did it, dude. Yeah. And now, we're gonna keep working on NDRs in 2024. Yeah, it's just such a gaming accomplishment. Yeah, know? I wanna wanna get to some more <clears throat> Contra stuff. I, I definitely wanna get Alien Wars on hard done. Yeah, because um, I, be I know we can do it. Um, yeah, that's, I mean we were so close yeah. and just on normal to getting the NDR. Yeah. Um, but hands down, that's got to be the best copy. We yeah. we beat a lot of co-op games this year. Yeah, but yeah, I think that's the best one. Yeah, it was it was it was great. A few more shots. Just watch that Nas. Could easily turn. Oh, got the NDR, yes. baby. Let's go. Woo! 
Oh, baby. My hands are so clammy. <laughs> oh, man. What? 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 A couple close calls in there. Oh, we freaking did it. Next category, beer of the year. I'll let you take the, the old first nod here. This is um, interesting because I think when I looked in the spreadsheet, I think we did 12 beer reviews the entire year. We're going to do more this next year <laughs> because we have had a lot of hardcore fans in the last couple weeks saying like they miss that stuff. Yeah. And that's who this channel's for. Um, it's not for the algorithm. It's not so... We're just gonna go back to doing kind of what we do yeah, and we like it. Hell with it all. Whatever we, happens. We happens. like it. So yeah. I think we only did twelve, so there wasn't many to pick from. At least from the ones that, on the spreadsheet that I could see. Yeah. So I have two potential options for beer of the year. It's either gotta be the twenty eighteen Bourbon County that we drank for our five year anniversary yep. because that was awesome and it was also the year we started that, the channel. That was my pick. Yeah. Or I think the prisoner of the moment, Bananas Foster, Bourbon County yeah. of this year. But <clears throat> so I, I think in 2018, I think. Mine, and, and I've, I've kind of always said this, I think, you know, being a, a beer connoisseur, but trying to never be a beer snob. You know, a guy that has craft beer coming out of his ass, but still <laughs> likes a fridge full of PBR and Miller Lite. The best beer you've ever had depends on who it's with and the occasion around it. And that's why I picked it. It was great and it was mellowed and it was so smooth from like a barrel aged out perspective. Yeah. But that, that five year anniversary was a, a very, uh, just cool, cool time. And I, I, I look back at that video and I'm like, God damn, just making it that long with the commitment level that, we, <laughs> the consistency. That, that we've had with anything is a feat in itself. And the fact that we're, we're actually kind of growing i mean it's not it's not substantial we're not like a huge channel but it's 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 had an upward trajectory if not a little not quite a hockey stick just a little little pick up there at the end yeah, yeah. um i think i think that's gotta be just because it was it was a it was a milestone and it was also cool because it was a, it was from the year we started yep. the channel and it was a gift it was just man it was i think we still have the bottle i think we still have the mm -hmm. bottle. i don't know exactly where it is because we're we moved, yeah. <laughs> but it's it's somewhere, and so I th I think that you know has to be yeah. It, it, it was, was a just good one. it was just a, it was just a great celebratory beer. Our channel discovery of the year. This Ooh, is a, a okay. fun one to get into because I always love uh, promoting content creators. I think it's a part of uh, what keeps the, the ecosystem going on, on YouTube, and the fact that anybody would go check somebody out on our recommendation <clears throat> is very humbling in it in and of itself. Um, uh, hands down for me though, and the guy doesn't have very many videos. Well, we might have the same guy. Um, and, and it's not even close. Um, and dude, he's left comments like, I love your gu guys. It's like, no, dude. <laughs> we love you. <laughs> Stop. Your channel is so much better than ours, man. It's not even close. Um, Optic Lure. Optic Lure, that's what I had, dude. Optic yeah. Lure, uh, incredible. He doesn't have much content, but dude, he's he well, spends time and research, and he just. And it's. And he's just, he's just so great to listen to. I would love to bring bring him on sometime maybe in a podcasty fashion or something well, and, just, and, and just get talk. to know him a little bit like wh what's he trying to do because just my perspective is like oh this is a guy that just kind of fucks around and finds out and puts out amazing fucking videos on no schedule whenever the fuck he has time. Yeah. He probably has a bunch of other shit going on and I'm sure he's doing super well in whatever he's doing because it, it, you can't not be smart and put out the type of videos this guy puts out Unlike two knuckleheads like us, yeah. just pissing into the well. That's why here. we're like we play the numbers game. You know? Yeah, like dude. Game. But I'm telling you, this guy, I've watched videos he's done on topics I don't give two shits about, and I end up watching them almost in like a documentary type yeah, fashion. Dude, he does such a good job of capturing you initially and then getting you invested, and then you're like, yeah. Whoa, that was so it's so good. So the video uh, we found him on was regarding physical media. Yep. It, and, and I can't even uh, explain to you the journey the story takes you on. I've always been, a, a, I don't need movies or TV series to tell me what's happening right away. I like the journey. And I remember like 75% of the way through his video, I was enamored. But I'm like, why the fuck is he telling me all this? Yeah, I was like, what are and you talking about? And then he fucking sutured up that fucking wound at the end. And it was like, and I was almost, so dude, I almost had a tear in yeah, my eye. You're like, oh my God. And... He, 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 he has um, that weird storytelling ability in my mind that like of like an NES complex yes, very or or like a my retro life. Yes. That I could hear that voice doing their content. It, just the voice, man. Uh, that that's my channel of the year. It's, it's, and it's not my, much content out there, but 
And I'm not even trying to, like, dude, What if you watch this video, I don't even know your first name, brother. But is it he, Optic? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I doubt it. It's, it's probably Lure. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but, um, Mr. Lure? If you if you do, don't use anything we're saying to pressure you. do you. No, yeah, because you All I can say is we're, we're waiting with, with bated breath for your next video, and, and you've got a gift. And if it's just a fucking hobby, keep it a hobby. Don't let it do anything yeah, stupid. But, yeah. Uh, oh, that, that's it's not even close. It's got that's got to be hands down the best. Um, I I do have like kind of an honorable mention, but I do think um, they started in 2022. But I've really enjoyed them in 2023, and that's Pixel Plus. Oh, for sure, yeah. Pixel Plus, like I mean, there's a lot of channels I've been watching, but yeah. I really like. I feel like 2023, they've kind of gotten into their groove and like really gotten things going, and it's just been fun to listen to their podcasts, listen well, to their segments. Yeah, I just love those guys. Yeah, uh, great human beings. Um, I've only met a few of them, yeah. right? But. Uh, Especially the ones with our our, our boy Gabbo. Oh, yeah, yeah, he's and, so uh, good. Uh, Riff is obviously he's just he's just a great human being, and uh, he's got a lot of cool things happening in his life because he's a great human being. Yeah, because things circle around. Yeah, they they do. And so. now for the moment you've all been waiting for, the 2020. <laughs> just the beer spills. <laughs> it ruins the new carpet. Yeah, uh, the game of the year. Uh, this. Can I state one more time? This is our game of the year, and we have not played hardly any games that came out no. in the year. Don't go to the comment section and don't say, How the hell didn't you pick Spider Man 2? Didn't play it. <laughs> haven't played it. How didn't you pick Baldur's Gate 3? Didn't, didn't play it. Play it. <laughs> uh, how the hell didn't you pick Starfield? Didn't play it. This is of the new games that came out in 2023 that we played, our games of the year. I'm going to give it to this guy. Yeah, I think it's unanimous. It's got to be Tears of the Kingdom. Tears of the Born, the Zelda game, the first Zelda game that I beat. And if you were around for the channel over the summertime and springtime, you know that <laughs> that was priority, was yeah. Zelda. We played it for months. What a weird we year. Addicted. We got like our, distracted from the channel by a lot of things. By Moving? Lot. Yes. Tears of the Porn. Yeah, dude. Yeah. But, dude, Tears of the Kingdom. Dude, I'm even getting the itch. And it's only been a few months since we beat it. I'm getting the itch to play it again. You need to get the, the itch to play a different Zelda game. I know, but Tears is so good. And so is Breath of the Wild. Uh, maybe I so should, is maybe I should jump so into the original. Maybe I, need, maybe I should jump into Breath of the Wild. Yeah, there you go. You know, I do have it. Uh, yeah. But that's, I just like Tears so much. Yeah, it's it's great. It's incredible. And there's so much that we, like, we spent out, like 150 hours plus. Yeah. And there's still so much that we didn't do, you know? Yeah, I. Uh, it's it's my game of the year as well. Um, reason being, well, it's a great game, but I, again, I'm all about the experience. I, gaming yeah. has always been a, a conduit to fellowship and friendship and watching this guy play <laughs> through his first Zelda game, which is one of my favorite series ever was more rewarding than any game could ever like seeing him come over and like, literally he's the grinder of the two and say, I know we need to do this, but should we just play Tears of the Kingdom? <laughs> was like such a rewarding experience. So it's got to be my game of the year. Dude, it was, and, and it was just so and fun. It's, because it's great in its own right. It's a single player game, but we played it together. So we, so we took channel time to yeah. play it together, and it was just so fun, just taking turns. And dude, it was, it's a fun game to watch. Yeah, we, like even when you <clears> when you're playing, I'm just like. Dude, what was that? Or well, like, <laughs> I, I found since we started the channel, I, I don't know if you and I invented this or what, but it gets very hard. Like when we do like top co-op game videos and stuff, every game's a co-op game to us. Yeah, we play. I only beat half of Mario Wonder. Yeah, maybe and I not beat the other half. Yeah. And I only beat half of Tears of the King. But the other guys on the sidelines, like, no, fuck it, go do that, dude. And it's to me that's so fun, oh, and I, it's the best way to play a game. It's it is it's fantastic, dude. Yeah. The company. Tears of yeah. Kingdom, hands down, the game of the year. You know, I, I will say, if that experience wasn't there, my honorable mention is a buggy, glitchy fucking mess, but it's RoboCop Rogue City. Oh! Love what they do. We with haven't, the we and haven't, I haven't beat it we yet. We haven't beat it. But I do, do I am loving what but we But Murphy. <laughs> yeah, Murphy's and back. It's, dude, it's, it's, Murphy's uh, back, baby. it's like everything I could ever have asked for in a RoboCop game. It's exactly what you want, yeah. And I haven't beat it yet, but I, I do love it. And I do like that yep. it's it's a, you can wander around you. There's just a little bit of collectible. Yep. There's, there's yeah yeah Robocop. That's a great freaking game. And then uh, the last category before we jump into like our goals and our beer review and all yeah. that stuff is the getting off the grid video of the year. This was tough. I have a list. 
Well, I have a few, dude. I'm going to go with a definitive one. Oh, you because have one. I have one. Um, it it, it kind of blew my mind. And I remember it was it was happening when we went to visit Megadan. And we were staying at this house. And I think the video had been out for like a week. And I remember like, what is happening? I can't keep up with anything. Like, oh, holy this, yeah. shit. And uh, it was the... Uh, first video we did regarding physical media it was like physical video games are literally disappearing and what i love about that video is the behind the scenes stuff i i love well first off while i'm picking why i'm picking it is because it almost has three hundred thousand views and for us that's a shit ton. yeah that's wild so by far the most views we've ever had you're like you guys have been on youtube for almost six years <laughs> no that's the best video we've ever had but a comedy of errors happened to make that video happen and that idea happen. Our good friend Brian, who's been on the channel before, yeah. texts me. It's literally like, dude, it might be a cool topic. I can't remember exactly what, it's, what he said, I'm paraphrasing, but to cover, he's like, dude, I like, I, I'm like looking for games at Target, it's gutted. Looking for games, whatever. And so he planted the seed. And you were like, and I, I was like, oh, that's crazy. And I think you maybe even sent me some pics. And then like, I didn't even have time to follow up on what he said. Until like a few weeks later. And I was like, well, yeah, you know, I got this lunch break. I'm gonna go hit these. I'm like, oh. It's empty. Boy. Yeah. Got the camera rolling. It was fucking piss poor B roll that I got just randomly walking <laughs> yeah, by with my phone. Quit, just like yeah. <laughs> and that that video popped off. So I've got the memory of being at Dan's house. I got the memory of, of Brian just. Well, because it also, it was a slow grower. We, yeah. we put it out. Uh, like the first week it didn't it did normally like what our videos do yeah you know and we were like okay it was just another video for the week and then all of a sudden it was like refreshing subs were fucking viewed and yeah. I was like what the fuck we is were that? on a, we were on a pocket with that video and, and it's weird because when it got to like where it's at close to now it just died it just stopped but for whatever reason this fucking video was like throwing off like 25 30 thousand views an hour like it was like and that's what for us that's wild yeah if we can hit a thousand views an hour, that's a big hour yeah. for us. It was it was bizarre. It was insane, and that also that also kind of snowballed the entire year that we've been covering. Yeah, the, the physical media disappearing versus digital media. We've kind of been talking, so we've done a lot of topics on that. Mm -hmm. That was kind of like one of my things I want to talk about because that's been most of our year is to kind of talk in this. Yeah, because of that first video. Yeah, because it's a wild topic. Well, and I I just I love the I love the results it got us and threw off great results uh, better than everything we'll probably ever do again. But uh, the the memories around it too are, are awesome because the video idea was not ours. It wasn't mine. It wasn't yours. Yeah. It was literally me like responding to Brian like, "Oh, it's nuts." And like two or three weeks later, like, well, "I'll go look for myself." Oh wow, it is nuts! Holy <laughs> fuck! And then we dug in from um, there. So, yeah. I I have a few. So the first one we've already mentioned is the Jack Lindy R. I think that's got to be definitely in the discussion. Yeah, for because it's just a big gaming achievement. Um, and then I really liked, we did this, we started this series, but we only did two episodes because it didn't perform well. But I thought it was a fantastic series, and it was like, if you like X games, check these out. Yeah. We did it, if you like Contra, check these out. If you yep. like God of War, check these games out. Yeah. I thought, those were fun episodes. Yeah, dude. they were. And we, we got to, I would like being able to be like, play a ton of different games. Yep. Get screen cap, and then talk about games that maybe people missed. Yeah. And, but they just didn't perform well, so we kind of quit doing that. Maybe yeah. we'll revisit it next year, but those were really fun. Yeah, those are always ideas you have in the bag, right? Yeah, um, those are, and they're not time sensitive yeah. at all, you know. And then, um, and this is kind of a newer one. A few months ago, the video game hot takes episode. Oh yeah, that <laughs> Dude, was fun. That was uh, fun. Just because of the comment section. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just really like pissing people off, and that that video was funny. Yeah, no, it <laughs> so, was. It was. But I, I, I mean, I'm I'm you know proud of all the stuff we put out. You know, sometimes we're like we gotta get something out, but yeah, we're kind of. We've kind of pulled back and we're like, hey, we don't have anything. Maybe let's... Yeah, I, I kind of feel like right now we don't even really have a set upload day. Oh. Well, we've definitely went from being... To just kind of, hey, as it happens, I think by the end of this week, we may have another upload that yep. pops out. Just and right we now. and we may not. Yeah. You know, it's uh, we've kind of started doing it on our own terms, um, which is very different. It's nice. Than how we ran the channel the first five years, for sure. 
Yeah. It, it was... It was regimented. We were citizens in a state governed by a dictator. Yeah. And the dictator was the channel. And it was like, dude, if you don't have a video done, you're, you are got to get one. Yeah. Done. It's got to yeah. be out at 9 a.m. on these two days. Yeah. And these four days. Yeah. <laughs> like, four videos and now, week. now we've just kind of settled into this pocket and the channel's not suffering. It's still growing. And it's like we stream when we want. Sunday nights is typically when we want to stream. But if something... We're watching something or the soup bowl... Okay, we're not gonna not gonna be able to do it. Yeah, sometimes it's just like, hey, let's just enjoy yeah. whatever we're doing, you know. Yeah, we'll work on videos. Our goals. Yeah, let's talk through. Let's these. see what we got. Dude. Rattle through them really quick. Our goal of thirty-five thousand subscribers. It's class. I shouldn't do that. <laughs> we we got through it. We are sitting at. 40,000 40, as of the filming as of this the filming episode. filming of this, dude. 40K. Hit 5.5 million lifetime views. Uh, we didn't quite get there. So we hang this up in our game room, for anybody who doesn't know. And we um, have every year behind that. Yeah, every we, year we behind it, what we want to do. Uh, 4.3 click-through rate. I think we are close. That's a, that's one that it ebbs and flows. It you ebbs know? and flows. We've been above. We've been below. That one's so tough to keep. I'm going to call that a push. Yeah. Publish Contra 3 Co-op NDR. Didn't get that done. <laughs> Complete Batman on the NES. I beat it. We didn't beat it together. We didn't beat it together. But it just says complete, so yeah, you did. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, no Death Run Jackal. Done. We got that one. NDR Contra on NES. Oh, my God. We didn't even really try. We're slacking on these. Um, well, dude, I, I, I have it before in my life done it. I think we need to find a better home for this, because I think I forgot about yeah, these. Yeah, I yeah, forgot yeah. about these goals. Power Blade 2 playthrough. Didn't get there. Finish NBA Jam on PS3. We're damn close. <laughs> we're, we didn't get there. We're getting close. Level 35 Black Ops Zombies. I think we got to level 37. We did on February 5th. <laughs> beat 10 co-op games. Done. I think we, we beat a lot of co-op Done. games. Done. Done. We definitely did that. Social. Raised 12K for the Children's Cancer Connection. Done. Done. I think we raised Picture 12, in the B-roll. Yeah. Coming up now. <laughs> um, we got that done. 10 three gaming conventions. Done in a weird sort of way. Kind of. We went together to one... I had a death in the family, so you took care of one, and you had something pop off, and I had to take care of one. Yeah. But we did a 10-3. We, did. we didn't. But the channel Yes, did. The exactly. The channel did yeah. three yeah. gaming conventions. Kind of, kind of slack it on that one. Yeah. Kind of. Uh, so we need to pay attention uh, n this next year for yeah. our goals. Because it's always nice to be like, okay, let's actually try and get shit done. Yeah, but for sure. Uh, let's talk about this beer real yeah. quick before we wrap up. This is the Bourbon County Cask finish that you're almost done with yeah stout aged in angels envy bourbon barrels and finished in ruby port wine barrels that makes wow. sense um it does make sense it does uh because right away when we first sat down um i was like holy cow this is really rich and it's really sweet very sweet it's uh really really good but uh man bourbon county beers that haven't been aged typically have a burn this has no burn. No burn. Dude. It's very smooth. Yeah. But you get a yeah. It's just you get a you get that sweetness. You get a little bit of like a lift. Like when you, you know when you take a sip of bourbon, you get that lift on top of your mouth. Yeah. It, you get that feeling without the burn. Yeah. Like it's, this, like a, it's like a. I. This man, is this real. is like velvet. It's very good. That definitely is celebrated. We've been sitting on this for a while. So yeah. before beer. <sighs> yeah, we uh, saved this for this episode yeah. and the time if. We saved it for if we could film this episode in this space. And, um, <laughs> and glad you guys have hung on if you have, um, because we don't know if the lighting, the audio, the video, but we had to rip the bandaid off and like, let's see yeah. how it goes. And then we'll tweak it from there. But it feels good. It feels good. We're <laughs> it. It's going to, it's going to take a little bit, but it, man, it's freaking badass to be in the new room. I think 2023 may be one of the craziest years we've ever lived as a channel. As far as, Games that sucked our life out of us. School, work, moving. Movie, yeah, dude, yeah. The emotion, and, and like we were like, hey, it's all right if the channel goes on the back burner for a lot of this. And it did. It did. But I'm ready for things to stabilize. I'm ready for things to normalize. I'm ready for freaking cartridge baseball number two. Oh, dude, let's go. Well, I don't think we can do that again. Cartridge golf? There's an idea. Cartridge. I was thinking we're on rollerblades and we play street hockey. And we I don't know aren't to, very good on rollerblades. I don't blades. know how to roll. <laughs> Can you imagine really trying to st stop a shot on rollerblades you're not good on and I'm whipping it at? I don't know what's going to happen in, in 2024. Maybe none of that will happen. Oh, that'd but. be awesome. Dude. People are like, do it. 
they still got it. But I, I will say thank you so much for all the support and uh, hanging with us in 2023 because there have been a lot of changes. Yep. But all for the good, all for the betterment of the channel. Honestly, yep. we're trying to take things you know to the to the, to the ease of use side so that we can put out more content. Yep. And I'm so excited. I think once we now that we've moved, I think things should start going back to normal. Ready to rock and roll. 2024, here we come. Let's go. But God damn it, I do love what we accomplished in 2023. Yeah, we did a lot. Yeah. yeah. It's it's wild looking back, dude. The charity stuff, the games we beat at the NDRs, yeah. the friendships. <sighs> Bizarre. Yeah. I, I just, I love life. Life is great. <laughs> yep. Yeah, there's always shit, but man, for the most part, video games, toys. Beer. It pretty hard to complain it's hard to complain it's actually kind of crazy it's kind of the best <laughs> yeah but anyway appreciate y'all have a happy new year and uh we can't thank you enough